Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about headbands. I love using headbands to spice up an otherwise very simple hairstyle or as an accessory to pretty much any outfit. Headbands are a wonderful way to give a little bit extra and they are in fact quite fashionable again, which I'm very happy about because they're amazing. So today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can wear different types of headbands, I guess, without looking like a child because I feel like that's the biggest danger of headbands. They are so reminiscent, at least for me, to when I was in elementary school. So I guess I'm gonna start off with a don't. Of course, keep in mind there are no rules as with any type of fashion taste type of thing. Doing this, so just pulling all of the hair back with the headband like we used to as children, or at least this is how I used to wear my headbands. This, I feel like very few people can get away with and it's not a very modern way of wearing a headband if you ask me. Let's dive straight into the do's. <laughs> my favorite way to wear a headband is a pretty classic way as well but it's just a little bit more elegant than just pulling all of the hair straight back. I like to start with a center parting for this so I take my headband and I will kind of slide them around my bangs and then just pull it back like that. Then I'll make sure my bangs are out. It's a little bit preppy, I guess, but I kind of, I personally really like that. It's elegant, it's suitable for many occasions, and you can use pretty much any type of headband for this. So those kind of very big velvety ones that are really modern right now, those work great with a type of hairstyle like this as well. If you wear some curls with this, it can look very nice and vintage, which is awesome as well. But if you want to do something that's a little bit more extra, I guess. You could use a headband that's embellished. So I have this um, one with a string of pearls and some faux gems <laughs> on there. And you can use that in much the same way. So I'll just pull my hair back. And this is one that needs to be tied in the back here. So let me do that. So I feel like this is quite a surprising and elegant way to accessorize. I would definitely not wear a necklace if I'm wearing something like this or, you know, be careful with earrings that are too flashy as well. But yeah, this is a very nice kind of alternative to jewelry. And with something more jewelry-like like this, I also really like to then wear my hair in a sleek ponytail, for example. I personally like to do a low ponytail. And you can already see how this gives just a little bit more visual interest to an otherwise very simple hairstyle. And this, again, definitely works without bangs as well. So if I just try to kind of push them to the side so you can get a feeling for what this would look like without bangs. So that would look a little something like this. And I feel like without the bangs you can tell a little bit better how this adds just a little bit extra. Now another really nice thing you can do with a headband is to spice up an updo, pretty much any type of updo. So say I were to just put my hair up in a very simple bun, just your classic little top knot. When you wear your hair kind of out of your face or up like that, I feel like there's a little bit more room for a more out there headband, I guess. So something with a larger piece on the side works really lovely in hairstyles like this. So whenever I am wearing my hair up, I do like to take a headband that's open on the top so that I can actually slide it into my hair and the bottom of it kind of disappears. Then it comes out something like this and you can tell how the headband's just kind of disappearing into my hair right here. So for a hairstyle like this, I feel like something with like uh, bigger flowers or just something very elaborate just works really nicely. And here's how that would look without bangs and with the leaves on the other side. That's the great thing about headbands, you can wear them either way. <laughs> Another thing you can do with a headband is to use it as an actual hairstyling tool. For example, when you have a headband like this that gives off a little bit of that 20s vibe, a bit retro, then you can use this to create a very pretty up to hairstyle. So here is my Headband, you can see it's been broken and very lazily repaired. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to separate out the hair that is kind of in the front of my head from the hair that's in the back. And all of the hair that's in the back, I'm going to gather. And then I'm going to just tuck it into this elastic in the back here, like that. Very simple, just gonna tuck it, make sure it's nice and secure. Then I'm going to take this hair that's in the front to give it a little twist, bring it back, 
I'm going to pin it down here. In the back, just using a little bobby pin. And do the same thing with the other side. So take this hair, give it a little twist. And then these little strands you can also just kind of tuck away either underneath the headband or inside this little loop. But that's a really quick and easy way to create a really cute hairstyle. Now I know we're getting closer to spring, but we're not quite there yet. So for days that are a little bit colder and you just want to cover your ears, I love wearing little headbands like this, knitted ones, really warm, that almost act like a hat. And I know it's really kind of fashionable to wear them like this, just wrapped over your head. I don't know if this is just me, but for me, sooner or later, I can already feel it's happening. This happens. They just kind of slide up and I end up with this. It just kind of gradually gets worse and this is just not a cute look and it always happens on me. So. I don't like to wear them like that. What I actually like to do is take a hair elastic and make a very quick low bun right here at the nape of my neck. Just a messy one, really. I don't pay too much attention to this. So I'll just very quickly pull it into a bun. And then I take my headband. I will kind of take it under that bun and then over my head like that, and that way the bun is holding it down so that it can't slide up my head. I can make sure it stays over my ears because that's the whole purpose of it, to keep my ears warm. And I like to just kind of split my bangs for a little bit of 70s curtain bang action. <laughs> and that is how I like to wear these kind of thicker, knitted, warm, winter headbands. So that is the last hairstyle and type of headband that I wanted to share with you today. I would love to hear in the comments if you wear headbands at all, and if you do, how you like to wear them. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you'd like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there'll be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!